to Bex Bug Out Survivor Quick Tips. So in this episode we're looking at the Bergen and more what we do with it at night. If I just hang it on a tree, it's not going to do anything. I want it to have a function, it has a job to do at night, it has two things it can be a backup as and I'll show you what they are now. So that's my Bergen completely empty now. Now I have my ground pad down ready for the night and I could gather as much leaf litter as I wanted. It doesn't always offer the instant access to insulation that I need. Once you flatten out your Bergen like this and emptied everything out of all your pockets, I can pop it under my bedroll for the night. This offers a lot more insulation and it also can cushion from the ground. So that would be option one. Put your Bergen underneath your roll pad, make it work for you. Option two, let's get the Bergen. I can put this now down the foot end of my roll pad. Put your bivvy, everything, and your feet with your muddy boots, everything inside. It's a good way to keep your feet warm. You'd have to imagine I'm in my sleeping bag and maybe the bivvy as well and put the whole lot into here down the bottom. That's how I make my Bergen work for me, even when I'm asleep. Always get your kit to do more than one job. I use trekking poles instead of basher poles because again, versatility, it'll have more than one job to do. Always make sure your kit has more than one job to do. Already, I've got my kit working for me and it's a lot lighter because I'm not carrying duplicates of anything I don't need. I'll see you out there.